Yo, do not attempt to adjust your dial. But a bum bum bum. It's your boy Big Vern. This is App Stupid, the fastest growing sports and entertainment show on these YouTube streets. You're welcome. Holla. Yeah, shout out to us. We still rocking on a beautiful Wednesday here in the Midwest. So, we ain't gonna bury the lead. We're gonna get right into it. Matt Rule is out here talking about. He knows why Nebraska is losing. And now this is out of football scoop and John Bryce. And just identifying the problem, Nebraska keeps losing by one possession gains. And he claims that the pattern is not out of the blue. This is something that they become accustomed to. And I always ask, is that correct? Is that correct? And to understand Nebraska football and Lincoln, shout out to the good folks in Lincoln, Nebraska, we got to go ahead and, and really look at the coaches that came through there. You know, the Cornhuskers were one in five a year ago in games decided by single digits. Nebraska won two of 15 and single digit games combined across 2022 and 2023. The Huskers fell flat nine times in 2022 in games decided by nine or fewer points. So Matt Rule, he was right when he says that this is an aberration, and that means just a break from the norm. That's just a big word for something you're used to. <laughs> I don't know why people try and like use big words. Oh, I sound right. Super califragilistic. Man, look, sit down. But, you know, he did this at a spring practice. And if you've ever been to a spring practice, that's where they pretty much let you in. I don't know any college that sells tickets to watch a spring practice. And at a spring practice, you are addressing kids right then and there. And I don't think that that's a great place to teach. Now, that's just me. For some football coaches, it may be the latter. That, that's what they prefer. And he said to some of the kids, and I quote, look at me real quick. If you guys want to know why we've lost a lot of games close, you just saw it. Okay, we flop here, but because there's a lot of people watching, you don't want to look stupid because you don't leverage the football. We're just grabbing people and pulling them down. End quote. Was that chewing really necessary in public? I understand that football is a 24-7, 12 months a year kind of deal for some people because if you're not playing, you're recruiting. If you're not recruiting, you're teaching technique, you're going over uh, film. I, I mean, it is relentless from everything from the diet to the weight room. I get it. You're training your body. You're training your mind. I know losing sucks. I've been on the end of some blowouts. I've been on a, the end of some wins and how it all comes together. But at the same time, just looking at the way that things are and the way that things fell apart, it just leaves you to sit. It just leaves a bad taste in a kid's mouth, you know, and did that ever motivate anybody? And, and that's for people listening. Were you ever motivated by a coach that sat there and berated you in front of your teammates doesn't mean it's a play or if it's an action you know it's kind of like yeah man the season hasn't even started and you're already harping it just doesn't seem like it was well placed that's all i can say and i know corn husker faithful you've been down that road before and it hurts and we just gotta go ahead and break the cycle somehow you know break the cycle because it, it is what it is, you know. Let's take a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show. Then we'll get back into finishing what Matt Rule was talking about. This is Big Vern. Drop the spot.
Burger King, have it your way. BK, have it your way because you rule. Order online, download the app, or visit the good folks at your local Burger King. BK, because you rule. So when we were talking and we left, when we last left off talking about Matt Rule, um, Matt Rule was, was he right? Because he said something that I, it just kept pinging in my ear. It was like, wait a minute, how many close games have they lost? How many close games have they lost? So when I went and I looked up, going back a decade, this is going all the way back to 2014. Bo Pelini is the winningest Nebraska coach in the last decade. His record uh, overall, Pelini's record was 67 and 27. And then ever since he left, Nebraska has been, I mean, it just fell into the trash can. Mike Riley, he was there um, 2015 to 2017. Riley's record was 19 and 19. Yeah, Scott Frost, 16 and 31. Matt Rule is currently right now 5 and 7. And given the trajectory, if he doesn't win this year or have a winning record, and it's pretty hard for that to actually take place because Nebraska's schedule doesn't allow for this. And so they could be looking at more of the same these close losses you're playing these uh, superior teams I know he sent his staff down to look at SEC and how Georgia does business and that's all well and good but you understand you're part of a larger losing trend and turn it around you need positive affirmation you don't need negative constructive criticism about a season that's not even here. Give me a quick 18 from a rap album we promoting this month. This is Big Vern. Drop the spot. Yo, you're not going to believe this, but we got another hip-hop pick. da 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 bop bop Freeway, take one. The Stimulus Package Part 2 in stores now. Get it where you legally consume music, whether it's Apple Music, Google Play, or Spotify. Favorites on the album, Time, Philly, Ringing, and Heartbreaker. Many more. Get the album. It's out now. Shout out to Freeway and Jake One. The Stimulus Package Part 2. I was listening to that the other day. I was in Menards walking around looking for some screws just fixing some stuff around the house shout out to them nebraska plays in the big 10 the big 10 has just retooled um the opener excuse me the opener is in a couple of weeks they play utep that is in lincoln then they play colorado which Deion sanders in the show that's gonna go ahead and take place september the 7th then Northern Iowa, you have Illinois, then you're on the road at Purdue. Then Rutgers comes to town. Then you go to Bloomington to play Indiana. You don't have a significant game until you get to October the 19th. Indiana is what I've told all of these guys because they look at Signetti, Signetti, they like, oh, he's a James Madison guy. No. These are Nick Saban dudes. They were they were just posing as James Madison guys, putting up numbers and blowing people out. But these guys are all from Alabama. So depending on the way Indiana looks in the opener, you only have one significant game, and that's October the 18th. Then you go to the horseshoe to get your head kicked in. Ohio State is going to put up great numbers on you all so just deal with that then ucla goes to lincoln nebraska that's going to be a hard game because deshaun foster in the west coast fast i mean the west coast football excuse me that model of stretching you all out and then playing you all from the edges that's going to be hard to contain then you're in pasadena because you have to play usc Then you get beat up by Wisconsin and they come to town. And then finally you play Captain Kirk out in Iowa, which is always a three to 14 game. So I don't know 
how Matt Rule improved his record from here. I just don't. I don't see it. Scott Frost, he had the same issue as Matt Rule. He had the same issue as um, Mike Riley, where they were just losing close games. 23 of his 31 losses are all decided by a single score. And then Mike Riley, he was dubbed the worst loss in Nebraska history since 1961. So they had to get rid of him. Cornhusker faithful, let me know. Do you agree with whatever's going on in Matt Rule's mind? Or are you ready for the boys to turn it around? This is Big Vern at App Stupid.